Welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to do our first small program for our media computation project. This tutorial belongs to Thomas Cooper's Introduction to Computer Science course. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is find the Jess icon on your desktop. It looks like a snake with eyeglasses, maybe an inchworm. And Jess stands for JSON Environment for Students. So let's go ahead and double click on the icon to bring it up. If you don't have the icon, then see your teacher about getting it installed on your computer. So the JSON environment comes up and we have two windows here. In the top window we'll be typing our program and in the bottom window we have our interactions pane where we'll be typing our commands or calls to our program. So the first program that we want to write in order to accomplish our media computation project is a small program that will allow us to pick and show an image. So in the top window, click in it, and then we're going to type in def. You remember that def stands for definition in Python. And then we're going to type in our method, which we're going to call pick and show. And then we're going to end in parentheses, all methods here end in our parentheses, and we're going to put a colon. After the colon, everything is indented. So go ahead and hit return, and then you want to hit tab. And notice that when you hit tab, there is a light blue line that shows you that you have indented. And this little blue box will help you line up any subsequent lines. So we're going to go ahead and create a variable called my file and we're going to set that variable equal to a method that's built into Jess called pick a file. So pick a file and then add parentheses at the end and hit enter. And then hit tab again to line up with the previous line. You'll notice the blue box again surrounding your code. We're going to create a variable called my pick and we're going to set that variable equal to a built-in method called make picture. And then in our parentheses, we're going to pass in our variable my file. And then we'll hit enter again and tab. And then we'll type in the method show, another built in method. And then we'll pass in our variable my picked. And that's all we're going to do for this program. And so we're going to click load program. And then we're going to say save it. And then we're going to go ahead and save it in that folder on the C drive that we created with our name and our Jess files. So we'll look for Cooper underscore Jess. And if for some reason it's not there for you, then you can go ahead and click a new folder. So we'll click a new folder and we'll call this Cooper, put in your last name, then underscore and then JES. Okay. And then we'll double click on that folder and then we're going to save our file. And we need to make sure our file name matches our method name. So we're going to type in pick, small p, a capital A in the end, and then a capital S for show. And then no parentheses, but we're going to do .py our Python file. And now our picture is saved. And so we want to be able to um, pick a file or call this method. So in our interactions pane after we've loaded our program, notice down here it will say that your program is loaded. If it hasn't loaded you can click on the load program and that will load your program that's in the win window up here. So then we'll type the method, pick and show. And then we'll, this time we will include the parentheses, but no dot py, because we're doing a method call. And then we'll hit enter, and our windows will come up. And then what we want to do is on our C drive is we want to find a media, our media resources folder. Now your instructor should have um, asked you to create this media resource folder ahead of time. Um, there are a bunch of resources that come 
with your textbook. Otherwise, you can create a folder and put some images and sound files in it of your own choosing. I'm just going to go ahead and pick some from a folder that I've done on pollen, which are very interesting. And I'll just pick the pine pollen. And I'm going to click Open. And then you'll notice that the picture comes up. So the reason we're doing this basic method is so that we can choose a picture from our gallery to later on edit using a particular algorithm. And that's it for this tutorial and I will see you next time.